Well, good morning to all my friends out there. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I know the weather's been nice. It's starting to get pretty cool, though. I think this weekend's supposed to be nice and warm. We're really going to get down in those fall weather. It's nice. I like fall. I enjoy I actually see some of the leaves changing right now. But I'm going to talk about that leaves changing. Now, if you had me last year for music, you'll know this song. I always did it right around this fall time, and then I changed. I like this. It goes like this. You ready? The leaves are falling down all around the town. Whirling, whirling, and blowing. The leaves are falling down. See what I did with my mouth? I closed it, but sound was still coming out. call that a humming. It's not speaking, it's not singing, it's humming. So when we hum, we basically sing with our mouths closed. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to sing it up with you this time, though, in my high voice. You ready? Here we go. But you know what we gotta do now, right? We gotta do nothing. We gotta do nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But we better do something. We better do something. Something, something, something. We'll eat some pizza. We'll eat some pizza. We'll have pepperoni, sausage, and macaroni and cheese. had fun with that today. I'm going to jump over and I'm going to show you my screen now. I'm going to do this little presentation here in just a second. Let me pull it up. All right, I'm getting it there. Oh, here we go. Let me get it up. up, up, up. Oh, it's been a little slow today. Sorry, guys. We'll get it. Oh, here it is. All right, now you see it. Happy birthday, right? So if it's your birthday today, I'm going to sing happy birthday to you. Make sure you sing them with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my friend. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Can you do it by yourself? Can you sing it by yourself today? Let's see if we can. I'll sing nice and soft. You sing louder than me go. So four, three. to all of you out there, and if it's your birthday, well, happy birthday to you. Oh, last time we did this song, this land is your land, right? So let's sing it together. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream.
Now I'm going to show you some movements today that goes along with this song. It goes like this. This land is your land. See what I'm doing with my fingers? This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Do you got it? Let's try those movements one more time. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Islands. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Uh, this land was made for you and me. Nice job. Let's go back to my screen. There's those words again. All right, make sure you do those actions and sing it this time. Here we go, ready? This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Oh, this land was made for you and me. Nice job. I'll sing it for you this time. You make sure you work on those actions. Here we go. This land is your land. This land is my land. California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Oh, this land was made for you and me. Nice job to all of you. But I've got another song. This sounds almost exactly like This Land is Your Land, but it changes the lyrics a little bit. Lyrics mean the words to a song. Let's see what it is. Oh, it says, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Did you know that this land is your land and you are my sunshine? It uses the exact same uh, music. So watch how it goes. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are gray. You'll never Yes, please don't take my sunshine. Yes, please don't take my sunshine away. Now, usually when people say that L word, love, they go, Aah! but this isn't the kind of kissy, smoochy type of love. No, 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 no. The type of love I'm talking about is the type of love you have for your mom or your dad, your brothers or sisters or your little doggy at home, or anything that you really care a lot for. So when you say to somebody, I love you, you're actually saying, I care for you. I don't want anything to happen to you. I want you to be safe. I want you to be happy. I want the best for you. So if somebody ever comes up and says, hey, I love you, just make sure to not go, ah! you could say thank you if you don't want to say it back. But if you also care for that person, you can always say, I love you too. It's nice. Just like I have love in my heart for all of you out there. And some people have love in their heart for Mr. Holder too. It's nice. Sometimes all that we need in this world, a little bit more love. All right, let's look at my next slide. Oh, we already know this one, don't we? Remember this song? We sang it a few times a few weeks ago, and then we put it up. All right, remember this slide? Everyone sings. These slides are Mr. Holder. Then we go back to everyone sings. Remember? Up, 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 up and blue. Up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with 
the clouds and look at me, I'm so high I can fly, I know how. I'm using my low voice again, aren't I? Okay, I'll sing up with you this time, but you have to promise that you'll sing with me. Okay, I'm gonna use my high voice as long as you sing with me. You ready? Well, up, 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 up in the blue, up so high I can touch the moon. Trains are fun, cars are fast, riding bikes down by the river is a blast. But if I had my way, just one chance for a day, I'd go balloon into the stars so I could fly. You know the next part, right? Up, up, up. Some creatures swim, others climb. Well, my kind just talk all the time. But if I had my way, just one chance for a day, I'd train places with the birds so I could fly. Okay, your turn. Oh, I missed a slide. Up, 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 up in the balloon. Up so high I can touch the Try it all together. Four, three, two, and one. Well, up, 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 up in the balloon. Up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high I can fly. I know how. Nice job. I heard you all the way from over here. Now, we did this song a couple weeks ago, and it said konnichiwa and adios and all those things. Well, not adios. It said hello in a different, a bunch of different languages. I want to do that again if you're happy and you know it. Make sure you do the actions along with it. But we're going to watch the video together. We get it back on the screen. And we'll watch it together. You ready? Well, I'm ready. If you're happy and you know it, shout hello. Hello. If you're 
you're happy and you know it, shout hello. Hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. Bonjour. Привет. Привет. Ni hao. Ni hao. I like that last little part. It's fun to sometimes learn some different languages, especially if it's something you don't know. I find it interesting. Now you guys know how to say hello in lots of different languages, don't you? Oh, I don't want to go to that one here. I want to go back to here. Now, I've showed you Mr. B before, and you actually saw that slide just a minute ago. But we all know that bees fly around. But today I want to do something with our vocal expression where we're going to watch a little bee fly around just like Mr. Bee or Mrs. Bee. I don't know. It has this little things here. It might be a Mrs. But she's going to fly around and we're going to follow her flight with our voice. So if she goes up, guess what's going to happen with our voices? I would guess they go up. And then if she flies down, they go down. Right? And if she goes different ways, we'll do different things with our voices. It could go, woo, 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 woo. I don't know. We'll have to just see what the bee does, right? Let's take a look. Ooh, flying like a bee. Use your voice to follow the bee's path. Nice. Let's look at this first one. We can already see what the bee's doing, right? I'm going to use my slide whistle. Let me show it to you real quick. Remember, this is my slide whistle. And then you could use your voice to do the same thing. But we're going to follow what the bees do. Okay, so let's look again. Let's watch this bee fly one time. Oh, yeah, just what I did with my slide whistle, that's what I think the bee's going to do. So it's going to go. So with your voice, let's do it together, okay? Here we go. Nice job. Look at the next one. Oh, I can already see we're going to start high and go low this time. Let's watch him fly. Yeah, so with our voices, we're going to go. Oh, I messed it up. Sorry. Yeah, so. Let's try it together. Ready? Nice job. Look at this next one. Oh, this one's a little trickier. Let's watch it fly one time. Oh, oh, oh. Goes all around the place, doesn't it? Okay, let's try this one together. I'm going to use my voice for this one. Nice job. This one's got a big, like, roller coaster. Let's watch him fly it once. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's try it together. Are you ready? Ooh. Nice job. Oh, there's no lines on this one. We're going to have to see what Mr. B or Mrs. B does. Let's see, let's see what they do. Uh, ooh, tricky. Let's see if we can do it together. We're going to have to watch this one real carefully. Ooh. Nice. These are trickier. Let's try this one now. Ooh, it's starting up pretty high, isn't it? Down. Way down there. Way up, right? Hey, let's try it again. Ooh, we're going to have to start our voice up high on this one. Ooh. Nice job. All right, let's watch this one. This is the trickiest of them all. Ooh, up, down, up, down, up, down. Let's try it together. 
Nice job. Boy, you guys are getting good at this. Awesome. Today I want to show share you a book with you a book. Remember, I said we're going to talk about that love word. Remember, it's not this, mm, no, uh, 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 not that, not that. This is the kind of love when you need to be here for somebody. You don't want anything to happen. But the author of this book, I'll show you it again, uh, Sam McBranty, he just passed away a couple days ago. So I figure I would show this piece of work with you, this uh, book, so you could maybe buy it yourself because I really like this one. This is good. So Mr. Holder's going to read this story to you. You follow along, but it is. Guess how much I love you. Little nut brown hair. Yeah, that's a little bit of a weird way to say rabbit, right? But the author of this, he's from Scotland, and uh, sometimes they say things a little bit different in other countries. But just know when they're talking about the little nut brown hair, they're talking about the little rabbit. And if they talk about the big nut brown here, they're talking about the big rabbit, right? And nut brown is just a color because they're brown, right? Okay, so let me start again. Guess how much I love you. Little nut brown here, who was going to bed, held on to big nut brown hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Well, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. This much, said Little Nut Brown Hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they would come. Big Nut Brown Hair had even longer arms. But I love you this much, he said. Hmm. That is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Little Nut Brown Hair. Well, I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very high, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then Little Nut Brown Hair had a very good idea tumbled upside down, and he reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Nut Brown Hair, swinging him over his head. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and but I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you across the river and over the hills said Big Nut Brown Hair. That's very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out in the big, dark night. Nothing could be farther from the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Nip -nut Big Nut Brown that is very, very far. Big Nut Brown Hair settled down Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and he kissed him. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you, right up to the moon and back. Wow, what a nice little story. I enjoy that little story. I always, I've always thought it's a nice one. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll probably check back in on Friday to see how all of you are doing. But remember, if somebody says, I love you, don't go, ooh, it really means that they care for you. And they want the best for you. And that's what Mr. Holder wants for all of you. All right? I'm going
going to say goodbye to all of you as soon as I get this turned on.